What's happening, Tech Timers? This is Andre of Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews, where I review cool tech and everyday products that will make your lives just a little bit easier. And today, I'm coming to you live with no jive as I review the brand new Polar Pacer running watch. It's a runner's watch and a whole lot more. And just to find out exactly how much more, stay tuned. Can you dig it? Okay, Tech Timers, so before I get down to the nitty gritty, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell all below. And please share if you care. This is Polar's latest and greatest. It just came out a couple of weeks ago. It is the Polar Pacer Runner's Watch. I'm not much of a runner, so that's why I said this is a, a whole lot more than just a runner's watch. But let's take a look at the box. There you go. Some information there. Top, bottom. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Tech Time Tool to the rescue. And let's see, it's gonna be right here. Yowza! Man, I felt that one. I think y'all felt that too. Yowza! There you go, that should do it. Let's get it out of the box. Nice looking packaging. I'm impressed. It looks like there's some, some information in here. Let's see. All of your guides, et cetera, et cetera. Let's pull this out, see what else is in here. There's the charging cable. Let's take a close look at that. There you go. Proprietary. Right there. Strap, additional strap, I guess. And of course, the Polar Pacer. The Pacer is an old uh, name, or they used to use this name on their watches a long time ago. And if you've been watching my channels, uh, my videos, you know that I love watches and you know that um, I've wanted another Polar watch. I've got an old M400 that was so great. And then, um, when I wanted to start getting into, you know, colored screens and more smartwatch features, I started going with the Samsungs. This is the Active 2, and prior to this, I had the um, the Polar Fit Pro, but um, uh, I'm sorry, the Samsung Fit Pro. But this is the new Polar, and it's funny that I said Pro because there's also a Pro version of this watch. I will talk about that a little bit later, but let's take a look at the watch. Very, very soft band. There you go. There are the buttons. We'll go over all of this a little bit later. And not a bad looking watch. Okay, so y'all know whenever, ever, ever you get anything that needs to be charged up, the first time you wanna charge it up, you wanna charge it up for you know quite a few hours. If it says to charge for one hour, I'm gonna charge it for four because I don't know how long it's been in the factory. I don't know how long it's been at uh, in the Amazon warehouse. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this charged, but y'all know what's next, the specs. Okay, Tech Timers, let's take a look at the Polar Pacer specs. The display is 1.2 inches, memory in pixels. Uh, resolution is 240 by 240. Dimensions 45 millimeters by 45 millimeters by 11.5 millimeters. Uh, the weight is 40 grams, 23 grams without the strap. CPU is 200 megahertz. The memory is five megabytes. Storage is 32 megabytes. The battery is 273 milliamps per hour. And training mode is up to 35 hours with GPS. Non-training mode without the GPS is up to 1,032 hours. Geolocation, it has GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, QZSS, and they can all be assisted. Bluetooth 5.1, USB cable, which is proprietary. Uh, water resistance, the rating is WR50. Sensors, Precision Prime, and accelerometer. The application is the Polar Flow app from the App Store or Google Play. Also, you can go to the Polar Flow website using the Polar 
uh, flow sink application. The materials, it's made out of plastic with a Gorilla Glass screen and it comes in the following colors, night black, cloud white, teal, which is the color I have, and purple dusk and it retails for $199.95. Now let's go ahead and take a really up close and personal look at the Polar Pacer. Okay, take timers, so there's the Polar Pacer. That's how it looks on the wrist. I'm gonna take it off now. Let's take a look at the watch. So it ships with the long wristband already on, short wristband as a replacement. I like the charging cable because it does have a Velcro loop so that it can keep itself together. There are five buttons on the watch. Upper left is your light. So that's for light. That button right there is going to be for back, pause, select. This one is scrolling up through the menu. This one is scrolling down. This one is going to be to uh, enter or exit an application. There are your sensors. There's your charging port. And of course, quick release strap. See right there. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. We're going to see this Polar Pacer in action. Okay, Tech Timer, so as you can see, the Polar Pacer has an always on display. Of course, it's kind of dull if you want to see it more clearly. Uh, clearly, just go ahead and hit the uh, button for the light. We're gonna start off with the watch faces because the watch faces are a little bit different from traditional smartwatches because technically, this is not a smartwatch. So, this is the time only screen or watch face. If I hit down, you'll see the date and time still there, but now it's on activity. You can see that little line going there. If I hit enter, then it's going to show some information. Right now it's showing steps, calories burned. I don't have a workout in yet, so there's not a lot of information, um, but I do have some workouts in, in the watch and we'll take a look at those. So I'm gonna hit the back button right there and I'm going to hit the down button and it's going to go to the cardio load status. So I would hit that, uh, enter, and of course there's some cardio information. If I hit the down button, it says you've been training progressively, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, keep it up. So some good information there. Let's hit the back button. I'll hit the down button. And that's current heart rate. Of course, I don't have it on. But if I hit the enter button, I, it's recording the last uh, heart rate information uh, that I, uh, when I had the watch on. So let's go back and hit the down button. And this is the latest uh, training session, which was 24 hours ago. Enter. It's pulling up that information. And it shows that, of course, I was cycling, which was yesterday morning. So I'm gonna hit enter and it gives all of that information pertaining to that bike ride. Now, this is very extensive because it shows the amount of time, distance, heart rate, uh, cardio load, there are my heart rate zones. So it gives you information as to at what point in my ride that I was working the hardest Scroll down, uh, energy use, so calories burned. You know, just a whole bunch of information in this one screen, very, very detailed information. So let's hit the back button. Let's hit back again. Scroll down. This one is nightly recharge. I like this because it doesn't just tell you um, you know, how well you slept or how long you slept. Once again, I hit the enter button. It, it also tells me a lot of information pertaining to 
you know, my, my sleep recovery. So if I went into, let's go here, it says open. If I clicked on that, then it gives some more detailed information. And as you can see, I'm pressing the down button and it went down, you know, a few screens because there's just a lot of information pertaining to, you know, sleep. And that was the ANS. And this one was sleep details. So let's go here. I'll hit enter. And of course, some more detailed information. So very, very detailed information that's gonna help you sleep better. Now you can see I'm, I'm pressing this button and I mean, I've gone down through several screens. So it's more than just how many hours you slept and how well did you sleep? So let's hit the back button. And once again, down. And this one is going to be the FitSpark training guide. So it says, get moving <laughs> right there because I haven't done anything yet. I haven't worked out yet. I will work out probably this afternoon. I'm gonna hit enter. And of course, what this does is it gives you um, like tips on working out, how long you should work out. If I decided to do that, I can hit that. And of course I can start. And what it will do is just give me additional information. Let me hit back. Let's say this one says core regular for 15 minutes. If I wanted to do that, I can scroll down. And then here, as you can see, it's laying out the, the routine for me. You know, it's showing me exercises that I can do for 15 minutes. So that's pretty cool. That's good. Um, you know, sometimes the watch will say, you know, get up and move and it doesn't really give you any information, but this gives you a time to work out as, as well as exercises to do. So let's scroll down. And this one is the weather and it's not connected to my phone right now. So sync with your phone. Uh, I'm not going to sync it right now for the weather. And the last one, this one is going to be called, and I'm scrolling through the manual right now because there's so many screens. This one is going to be, let's see, which one this is? Oh, this is the weekly summary. So with the weekly summary, let's hit enter, and it shows all information pertaining to, you know, how, how long I've been working out, you know, what I did, you know, my walks, you know, my workout right there. If I wanted to look at that workout, then I would just hit enter. It shows that I worked out for 47 minutes, heart rate, all of that, heart rate zones, energy used. Of course, I'm hitting the down button. And so it's, it, it stops right there. If I hit the back button, so I can look at everything that I've done in the previous week. Let me, uh, you know, leading up to this. So, you know, right now I've got a lot of walks in. Um, there's last week. I haven't really put this through its paces yet. Um, excuse the pun, but I will be using it more and more because I've been waiting for a watch from Polar that would replace my old beat up, as you can see, M400. This was a great watch and you can see, I mean, this thing is, is, is battle worn, but this was a great watch. And I purchased this, I don't know how many years ago, but in any event, if I scroll down, then the last screen, uh, the last uh, watch face is for your name. So now that we've taken a look at the functions, let's go into, I hit the back button and what that's bringing up is if I want to go into training, let's hit enter. Last thing I did was cycling, which was yesterday outdoor bike riding. So I can scroll through other outdoor, indoor, multi-sport, triathlon, high intensity interval training. That's what I did two days ago. Uh, swimming, indoor cycling, treadmill, hiking, 
mountain biking, walking, strength training, running, and back to cycling. So you can see, that's why I say this is so, uh, this watch is so much more. It's geared towards runners, but you can see it's got, it covers everything. So right now it's looking for the GPS. It's got the heart rate monitor. If, if I did that, now, if I were riding my bike, it's recording all of the information. Of course, I'm not riding, so nothing is changing on the screen. But you, if I were riding, you would see all of these fields being populated. And of course, there would just be a bunch of detailed information. But since I'm not riding, let's go ahead and hit the back button. Now it says paused. If you want to stop the, the app, you would just continue to hold the back button. And there you go, recording ended. Now, do I want to save this short training session? Yes or no? I'm gonna press the back button. And of course it says no, it goes back to the watch face. And to be honest, this is the watch screen. I prefer activity because as I exercise throughout the day, that line will advance. And then when I reach 100% of my goal, of course, you know, it's going to, uh, uh, some graphics will pop on and say whatever, you know, you've met your goal for the day. So as you can see, a lot going on with this watch, a lot of um, uh, detailed information. And so now that we've seen the watch in action, let's go ahead and take a look at the app. Okay, Tech Timers, so let's take a look at the Polar Flow app. There it is, Polar Flow. Tap there and it brings up this screen, day, week, month, and some more uh, information, active time. Actually, I, I did get in a quick 25 minute walk, uh, indoor walk. And so there's some information right here pertaining to the, uh, today. I can take a look at the week. If I click on that, if I press on that, you can see workouts and sleep and what have you around the clock, more information. If I hit month and do this, then there's everything for the month. Of course, I haven't even had this for a month, but you can see it's kind of extensive. We'll go back to day and I can, anything that I see here, I can pretty much click on like the sleep and what have you, but let's go here and this is the diary and so it's showing today, once again, tap there, information. That was my walk just a little while ago. I wanted to get some more information. You can see if I keep uh, pressing, then, then I can just go ahead and display even more detailed information. And actually that would be just everything, you know, heart rate and what have you. All of that information's in here. Productive, I can tap that and it would just show this information, going back, you know, uh, cardio load and what have you. And, you know, whether I'm overreaching or I'm within the zone or what have you. And just nightly recharge. Once again, we did see that. Sleep. Look at all of that detailed information in there. And Let's see, I guess that's it for right there. Let me see what that does. Okay, let's get out of that. I do like the app uh, very much. I don't use it as often as you would think, believe it or not, but I'll talk about that in a moment. If I press start, then I can do a fitness test or I could do some training for right there, but let's get out of there. Uh, let's get back into it. Should have just scrolled. And that was start. Calendar. Of course, I can take a look at absolutely everything I've done on the calendar. You can see where the, there are red dots. And you can see where, like these dots, there are two dots split. That's because, you know, I may have done, like, my workout. 
um, and then fitness tests and what have you. Also, with my workout, uh, there was a I had to stop for a few minutes and take care of some business at the front door. So it kind of split the routine. I can tap sleep and there's all of that information again. So you can see there's a little bit of redundancy, nightly charge, uh, nightly recharge, that information as to how I'm recovering. If I wanted to uh, go to the Polar blog, that's there. Some useful information, notifications. I don't, uh, I'm not using the watch for notifications. I can do favorites, I can go to the shop, I can do some feature t tutorials, and this will just provide information on some workout information and what have you. Let's get out of this. Sport profiles. So if I tap that, these are the sport profiles that are in the watch right now, the way it came. However, if I press that sign, uh, the plus sign, you can see there's over 130 exercises here and I can pick and choose, delete from the watch, you know, customize the watch with the sport profiles, which I'm going to do because some of the profiles in here, I will not be using like running. I'm not a runner, I'm more of a biker. So that's pretty cool that we can do that from here. Uh, of course, devices, that would be, you know, the watch and how I have it configured and general settings. Same, it looks pretty much the same. But anyway, let's get out of that. And then if I needed support regarding the watch, I can just go ahead and tap that and get further information from, from uh, Polar. So I, I do like the application, uh, the phone app. Uh, however, as I said, I don't use it too much and I'll show you why in just a moment. Okay, take timers. So let's take a look at the Polar Flow website. Now I do like the, um, the Android app and keep in mind it also is for iOS, but I do like the app and I do think it's very extensive, but I just prefer to use the website. I think it's even more extensive. So it's just a matter of preference. If you prefer to use your phone or if you prefer to use the uh, computer. Um, you would have to download the Polar Flow Sync app, connect the watch to the computer with the charging cable, click on sync. Of course, there's some settings information here. So once it's done syncing, it's going to bring up the website and you can look at today, day, week, month, you can add. And you can see this is just going back to the 26. If it's here, I can click on it. I can get detailed information. As you can see, just all kinds of information, zone, training zones, you know, heart rate, etc., etc., etc. Let's go back. Let me click on training history. And I'm going to kind of just breeze through this just to give you like a really quick overview because it's very extensive. And I would just suggest that if this is something that interests you, that you go through everything here yourself. So there's all of, you know, workouts and what have you. You can see there was a bunch of walking, but now I'm just going to get back into, uh, you know, uh, my, my workouts and what have you and my bike rides. So this is activity. You see a lot of information here. I can choose any field here to, to make visible here. And just a lot going on right here. I can click on stuff. I can take a look at, you know, particular information. There's recovery status. Let's click on that. Once again, it, this will give me some information and I can check out what's going on here. You see if I, I can look at, uh, you know, whether I'm training or uh, properly or balanced or, you know, very trained, whatever the case may be. Information here, training summary, and I can look at anything within this. And let's go here to sleep. And okay, my sleep information. And I think I just like this because it's, it's, it's uh, you know, on a bigger screen. Uh, this was uh, last night's sleep. So once again, just going through everything. Okay, let's get out of this. I can go into, let's go into reports. 
course, a whole lot of information in there. And, you know, you can hover over anything, get more. I can choose different information from down here. You know, if I want calories, I can do that. If I want steps, I can do that. Let's see if I can do an, an activity. So wait, steps, okay. So I can do that. You know, I can customize it in other words. So, so that was activity. Let's clean, uh, sleep again. More sleep information. Tests. So this would be uh, the fitness tests. You know, you've got the walking test, running test. You've got all kinds of tests in here that you can see, you know, exactly how you're doing, your fitness level. Running index, this, I'm not a runner, but if you were a runner, there would, if I, if I were a runner, there would be a lot of information here. If you were a runner, then you would be using this, uh, ex, you know, exclusively. Well, you would be using it a lot. Cardio load. There we go. Once again, very detailed information I can look at. You know exactly what took place here so let's go into community and I haven't done any of the community stuff even with my old uh, m400 but I can look at you know this video I can look at all of these clubs and you know I guess uh, work out with them or what have you I don't know I don't use it there are programs here so I'll click on that and there's a running program and this will give you uh, information on how to improve um, you know your, your running to prepare you for your for the 5k 10k etc 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 there's a season planner so this is this is great for for runners and you know just getting getting ready so we went through all of this right here and if I wanted to click on uh, updates the last update for the app was June 21st. Let's go over here and go back because that's basically the Polar uh, product the website. But I can go here, I can go into my settings, sports profiles, products. Let's see, polar.com. I think that takes me right back to the website. Yeah, that sure does. So I go back. And also in here, if I went, I think it, right here, sport profiles. Now we did see this on the on the watch app. I can also uh, uh, administer the watch from here. This would have all of the sport profiles that's, uh, you know, in the watch now like let's say if i wanted to get rid of running which i'm not a runner so i would click on edit and i can look at all kinds of information in here and of course if i want to i can remove the running app and i can replace it with a different app so that's pretty cool that you can do that so basically you can customize your watch to do uh, what you wanted to so it's not just a watch for runners it's a watch I I'm gonna call it just a overall fitness watch now there is a pro model and if you got the pro model then it has even more uh, programs or apps you know dedicated to uh, to runners so that's just a quick overview of the polar flow website and like I said, you know, you would have to really dive into all of this information. I mean, there's just so much information in here. It would take like, you know, a couple of hours alone just to go through absolutely everything and, and what can be done. But I, as I said, for me, I prefer the website. So now that we've taken a look at the watch, the app and the website, let's wrap this bad boy up. Okay, Tech Timers, so what did we learn today? We learned that the Polar Pacer is a full featured watch, not just for runners, but for 
all of your fitness needs. I think this watch pretty much does it all. This is the watch I've been waiting for from Polar. Now, is it perfect? Of course not. What I don't like about this watch, I don't know if you can see that, the bezels. If they got rid of the, the bezels, then they could free up some real estate, making the screen even even bigger with you know so that it would have even more information um i wish there was a way to turn the backlight off completely i haven't seen it so if you're wearing this in bed and 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 you know you turn around uh, turn over or whatever the watch will come on but other than that i really like this product and i think you all know where this is going it's time for andre's tech time and product reviews rating system if i like a product right on if i really like it groovy man if i don't like it right off and if i really don't like it it's a jive turkey because this watch does absolutely everything i needed to do and more i'm gonna give it a groovy man enough said that concludes my review of the brand new just released polar pacer keep in mind that with all of my reviews, the opinions I express are my own. I don't get paid to do this. I purchase all of the products with my own money. Keep on trucking, and I will catch you on the flip side in my next video. Now, can you dig that?